we are all great teams trust you are doing and keeping well in this pandemic time it is my pleasure to share insights on international market research i will be focusing on global perspective around product marketing and innovation my name is shriram padale i am part of ceo's office at markets and markets i will initially share details about markets and markets markets and markets is the world's largest revenue impact organization which provides quantified b2b research on 30000 high growth emerging opportunities or threats which will impact 70 per 80% of worldwide companies revenues we are currently servicing around 7500 customers worldwide which includes 80% of global fortune 1000 companies as clients almost 75000 top officers across across various industries b2b industries approach markets and markets for their pain points around revenue decisions our 850 full time analysts and subject matter experts are tracking global high growth markets we have around 10000 companies who have approached us for their revenue planning and we have helped them to take their innovations or disruptions to early to the market by providing them research ahead of the time let me share the objectives behind international market research there are three objectives which a particular organization looks after while doing an international market research these objectives revolve around product strategy marketing strategy and innovation strategy the sub objectives associated with these prime objectives are global expansion pricing analysis legal compliance m&d or merger and acquisition partnerships competitor achieving competitors insights suppose if a particular organization is located in united states is located in united states and it is willing to enter into a new territory suppose eu or european union then it has to identify which are the hot markets in in a european union and then it has to target those hot markets while in uh, while coming to eu it has to do pricing analysis how competitors are uh, doing the pricing for a particular product it has to check legal compliance associated with eu norms it has to identify which are the hot companies right now where we can partner and it will be easier for us to lead ahead in the future it has to identify competitor insights which are the top competitors how are they performing how are they doing uh, global expansion or how are they doing pricing and pricing how are they doing legal compliance how are they doing partnerships so these insights are interconnected and a particular company which is doing uh, going after a global expansion it has to identify these objectives and they have to uh, keep their strategies around these objectives to have a sustainable revenue growth let us consider each strategy one by one presently we will start with product strategy so product strategy as the name indicates it is what an organization wants to accomplish with its product so basically product strategy starts with product vision a particular organization has to understand why to build a particular product before understanding that the company needs to understand what is the market need is market looking after a particular product which is required by most number of by large number of customers which will also be uh, useful in satisfying a particular need so a particular organization has to understand key features that a particular customer or large number of customers are looking after in a particular product so understanding the customer and the market need helps us establish product vision which is the most essential part in establishing a product strategy so a particular organization can go for differentiation uh, the four factors which can be used while using a while determining a differentiation are quality features service and pricing so the first factor of differentiation is a quality the product can vary as per the quality suppose there are particular number of customers who are looking after the uh, list possible uh, list uh, who are list quality conscious then those customers can purchase a particular product which has 
such kind of quality there are some customers which who will always demand a higher quality product and they will not uh, bother about the higher pricing so we can have a higher quality product for such kind of customers some some customers will always want a large number of features so the features will again play the second most important part in differentiation considering the product strategy some customers will want the better service or the uh, better customer service in a particular after they purchase a particular product so we will also need to consider this aspect while determining the product strategy some customers are quite price conscious they will not pay a particular amount for a particular product so in that case we will also need to understand what are the customers uh, behavior to pay for a particular product we will also need to determine what are the basic warranties and services which are given for a particular product if such kind of product always is already provided by a particular competitor or a particular company in the market and the last part in the product strategy is package design we should also include branding team in this uh, step because the uh, external part of the product is the package and the package is considered as the uh, face of the product so we need to include branding team in this step in this way we can have a particular product strategy for a particular uh, kind of product this product strategy will vary as per the requirement and the market needs and how a particular cu customer perceives a particular product thank you for bearing with me for our discussion till product strategy now let's discuss the most important part in international market research which is nothing but the marketing strategy your marketing strategy should be a very well thought after as it shows the external face of your particular your particular product or your organization to the external world i would like to highlight some of the quotes which are there which are there from very famous people the first one is from seth godin who is a former business executive and entrepreneur he focuses on telling the stories through your marketing strategy so there's importance of highlighting the story about a particular product or about your company is very well very well highlighted from the quote that i have mentioned from seth godin the second one is also the important one which is from peter drucker who is credited as the founder of modern management he focuses on the uh, aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well the product or service fits him and sells itself so there will be there should be a self sustainable product or service which is able to uh, go for a long term and have a stable or sustainable revenue growth considering the future prospects and here the last slide have motivated you to learn more or know more about the marketing strategy so basically marketing strategy is nothing but what an organization wants to accomplish with its marketing team so every organization reaches its prospective consumers but the marketing strategy turns them into loyal customers effective marketing strategy is the most important need for a particular organization to turn its consumers into loyal customers nowadays we can identify most of the organizations are focusing on its digital marketing strategies but but the traditional marketing is also one of the important ways through which a particular product or service can go to the market digital marketing helps for a wider range at lower cost but if a target audience is people who are from particular age group say suppose 60 plus then traditional may be the way to market your product for example if you are going with a particular product advertisement which is for people who are above age of 60 and these people have habit of reading newspapers on a hard uh, copy basis then if you go with the traditional marketing then it will be surely efficient as well as effective to have a traditional marketing 
but if you are going through a tech savvy audience then digital marketing will be the best way to go after there are four p's which we need to identify for establishing a particular marketing strategy first p is a product so product can be either a good or a service so marketing strategy should be around the uh, good or a service we need to identify the price at which a particular product or a service needs to be delivered to the customer we need to identify the place or place is nothing but a location where a product is marketed so place can be a digital or a, if we are going with a traditional marketing then it can be a newspaper or any print media that we can have last p is nothing but the promotion promotion is nothing but the advertising that a particular uh, campaign is going after so marketing plan basically we need to identify a marketing plan which is a part of marketing strategy marketing plan is a short term project that is a part of long term marketing strategy so marketing in identifying marketing initiatives with their detailed schedules will help us establish a solid marketing plan later part in the marketing strategy is to have effective and efficient execution with measurable outcomes we need to track the outcomes with uh, trackers like google analytics or other trackers like uh, crms will also help us identify what are the uh, outcomes associated with a particular marketing campaign the end game of the marketing strategy should be the customer loyalty we need to have a customer loyalty at any cost in the long run so as to establish our brand as one of the successful and the best one in the industry now let's come to the next part of international market research which is innovation strategy international market research needs to be focused around innovation as we have identified brands like apple who are majorly focused on innovation are reaching a trillion dollar market valuation so a particular innovation will help an organization to reach the new heights let's look at one of the quotes from mr henry ford who is the founder of ford motor company he said if he had asked what a particular people number of people wanted then they would have said simply a faster horse so in the ancient times the horse was the only medium of travel and if he would have asked a particular people what they wanted then they would have simply said a faster horse but if we look at what is present today the uh, science has helped us to move to the better and greater heights so we need to have highly skilled capable human resources who are able to think beyond the limits so this indicates the importance of innovation in a particular organization now let's jump to the detailed part about the innovation strategy in a layman's language if we identify what is innovation strategy then it is what an organization wants to accomplish with its innovation team innovation strategy is divided into two subtypes first one is internal r&d and the second one is external r&d internal r&d focuses on internal factors which are responsible for innovation in a particular organization so suppose if a team is highly skilled then they will be the leaders in innovation they will not look after look outside Uh, and they will just focus on what what they have as their capabilities and they will go after the r&d the second part is external r&d or external research and development so external research and development focusing focuses on external factors which are responsible for a highly uh, capable innovation in near term the innovation is also uh, subdivided into four types as proactive active reactive or passive proactive innovation can be either a radical or incremental if we have to identify the examples of proactive innovation then we can consider the iphone so say let's say iphone 
is or iPhone just an iPhone was the radical innovation at the time as it has impacted the existing players in the industry and it came up with the higher revenues compared to what the existing players have been making through the sale of uh, mobile phones if we consider the incremental innovation then incremental proactive innovation focuses on the next step of a particular product suppose if we identify the iphone 2 then it can be de de defined as an incremental proactive innovation okay. so if we come to the next part which is an active innovation then an active innovation uh, is defending existing technology and markets while we are ready to respond to new so a particular company or an organization's innovation team is identifying what is, hap what is happening externally and it is uh, creating the products which are capable enough to defend the existing technologies and is also ready to respond to what may happen in near future the third part is the reactive innovation the reactive innovation is when a particular company comes up with a, a product or a service when a competitor has already been uh, well established in a particular industry the passive innovation is when a particular company is looking after the demand which may be generated from a customer or consumer side and then it it will start producing a particular product or service effective and efficient execution with measurable outcomes is necessary when you are establishing establishing an innovation strategy the end goal of a particular innovation strategy should be establishing a thought leadership now let's look at what are the other key takeaways which are needed when you are determining your international market research model first one is the localization you should look and sound like a local one when you are entering particular countries suppose if you are entering a country like japan or say a particular country who is highly looking after the similar kind of product or service which is sounding and looking like their own language or their own uh, system then it will be better to target uh, customers in those countries and have a higher impact considering the uh, revenues that you will be getting out of those countries second one is partner with local player while entering a new geography it has been identified that major automotive companies major automotive international companies have partnered with the local players while entering new geographies suppose uh, gm or ford they have adopted such kind of strategies in the past and have benefited as well but you should also identify the risk and establish risk mitigation mechanisms while doing partnerships or m and you should you can also partner with strategic market research provider who will surely help you to lead in the dark in the right direction so these are the four things that you that which are basically associated with partnering a particular organization in a particular country when you are going for global expansion let's look at the fifth point which is you should know the insights on SWOT and Porter's five forces SWOT is nothing but strength weaknesses opportunities and threats considering the particular market and the portus five forces focus around industry rivalry threat of new entrants bargaining power of suppliers threat of substitutes bargaining power of buyers now as the time demands let's jump to the conclusion i hope you have liked what i have shared considering international market research on product marketing and innovation angle hope to see you in next conference in organized by international trade council for more info you can reach us at info at the red markets and markets.com thank you
थैंक यू